parade. <laughs> How do you think you uh, you did today? Um, I thought I competed well today. Um, I'm not going to complain, but I always think I can do better. But I definitely thought I showed my athleticism today. Yeah, it, it sounded like the scout said you kind of pulled off a little bit after after that first 40. Right. Was that was it you, you um, wanted to no. save yourself? I mean, I that could have just been what they saw. But I mean, I I tried to run 100%, 110% each time. So that's what I did. What did you, do you have any idea what you got on that 40? Um, I've heard a lot of different times. Some people said four or five or in, in the in the range. I mean, I've even heard like a four four, but I don't know yet. We'll you'll see what they what they post. Where have you been training? Uh, California strength in San Ramon. Oh, okay, so right uh, right, 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 right down local. the road. Right. So have you are you still going uh, solo in a class or? Um, no, 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 no. I'm done with school. I study uh, law and music and I'm done. Yeah, it's time to <laughs> close that. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> got my degree. I'm good. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what what feedback have you been getting out throughout the process? You've been pretty productive throughout your your time here. Um, kind of just stay in shape, uh, stay sharp with your kind of the, the defensive schemes and things like that. Um, the biggest thing is just make sure you're in shape and work on your nutrition. Make sure I'm not too pudgy. Like I like <laughs> to eat. Everybody knows that. So just making sure I watch my nutrition. What have you had to cut out of your diet? Um, I think it's been the most painful. Uh, probably wing stop and ice cream. I'm a big. Ooh. I mean, I know at the end of the day, like for me personally, it's just about my nutrition. Like I know I'm always gonna work hard. That's been something that I've tried to emphasize on my life. But just nutrition, and so just the wing stop and the ice cream, late night ice cream. <laughs> yeah, so, that'll do it. <laughs> it really will. Yeah. What uh, what, what did you weigh in at? Uh, two thirty. Two thirty. Okay. Good weight. What uh, what what exercises did you do down there? Um, we did the the bench press. I had 24 on there. I'm not sure about the uh, the L cone and the 5105, but I mean I think we it was a little different to do it inside. Uh, we prepared like Jordan and I trained together. We prepared to do it in the rain so that we wouldn't be surprised. But um, I mean that's kind of how it was. So what did you have somebody with a hose just spraying you? Or? Oh no, we because it, it was raining a little bit in the Bay Area in San Ramon. Mm -hmm. So I mean my my trainer David Spitz he was like, do you guys want to go inside? I'm like, what for? Like. We, were, we expected to do it in the rain, but I mean, we were going to do it wherever they, they asked us to. Because you seem like the last two straight right pro so, days in the rain, so you right. figured it was going to exactly. happen. Exactly. I mean, we you know we were looking at all the the ten, the, the ten day weather forecast in Berkeley, like it was. We were praying like cross. Mm -hmm. We were at first they they said it probably like about three days ago that it wasn't supposed to rain, but I mean, I woke up, I was waking up at two a.m. I was like, oh, is it going to rain? I mean, but <laughs> it really ultimately didn't matter because I felt like we were prepared. So, what kind of feedback are you getting from teams? Um, just kind of what to play. Uh, everybody, I feel like they were a little surprised today with what I did running wise. And they're just asking me, oh, would you rather play inside or outside? And I, I mean, like I told you guys probably in the previous years, like if, wherever you guys want me to play, I'll play. And, you know, I'm gonna give it my all, so. How, uh, how, how much is, how much help is it the fact that you played both inside and outside this year? Um, I think it's opened my eyes and kind of broadened my knowledge of football. I mean, you got to know everybody's position that we always talked about the collective intelligence and that's that's kind of what made Devontae the player he was despite the fact God bless him to be 250 6'3 like he's <laughs> obviously he's a monster but he was a he was a guy that I mean knowing both both positions like where each guy needs to be that helps you on the field and that makes you play that much faster you you had uh, you know had some jam sessions with some of your other guys right. some music. do you right. still do that now that you uh now I've been more so focusing on training but I've been hitting up Patrick Laird Patrick Laird's been at home I'm at home I'm like come on dude like this is my only free day like let's Let's do so. But he sent me a he sent me an instrumental, so we'll have to see if I'm gonna sing or rap on it. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I have some free time now, so I'm gonna do a lot of eating. Still gonna work out, but we're gonna be in the studio for sure. What what, what when did he send you that instrumental? Um, I want to say less than a week ago, a week and a half. They get you pumped up a little bit. Uh, a little bit. I, I was I was excited to get on it, but I still was focusing on training and things like that. So, yeah. Yeah, you say you were working with uh, Jordan Kanashik? Right. Uh, no, Jordan Avizi. Uh, Jordan Avizi, yeah. How's that been, working with him? I mean, he's he's a guy that's going to compete. He's going to talk a little trash, but, I mean, it's it's that's out of love. And I feel like we definitely, together, we, we got the most out of each other. And, I mean, he knows, like, that's one thing I appreciated about him. We also went to church together, yeah. but every single day we were going to give it our all. Like, it wasn't – if I was feeling down one day, he'd get to talking, and it's already – I mean, I was already self-motivated, but each day I feel like we put in the work. Just you two working down in San Ramon? Uh, I mean, we had some Stanford guys, ah. boo. I mean, but they actually <laughs> did. They did actually help us compete as well. Um, we had some guys from the SEC and just different conferences. So I feel like it was a great group. I, I, I like to call it a, uh, I don't want to call it, sc scrappy is probably the best word. It was just a guy. We get after it in there. So. Thanks, Ryan. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right.